Hey folks, I'm Grimwit from Natuva.com, and this is a Scout's Badge. There it was. The Golden Girl Scout's Badge on a ribbon. Birgit had certainly earned it, but why had she left it out like that? Huh, let's grab it. Lily thought that the Girl Scout's Badge was much too precious to leave lying about like that. She put it in her pocket just to be safe. Is that a party cake? Lily had never seen a cake so up close before. She could have cried out of happiness for Birgit. Not good for her. Let's grab it. The cake was meant for Birgit and no one else. Lily didn't even deserve to lick the pastry shell. Yeah, well, she, she did do a good job in the banner. We should leave her be. Sup, gnome. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'll bet you anything this old man wants to see it. Take it, old man! But... that... That's the Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon! Mm -hmm. I had no idea I was talking to a genuine scout. I was a boy scout once, you know. Well, knock me over with a... with a... with my things over there. They're lying in that chest, you know. Because among scouts, there's no such thing as ownership and... and... Your head looks like the moon. Are liver spots liver shaped? And if not, why not? Talk amongst yourselves. Ooh, knife. Lily was used to not looking at knives anymore. She found the enticing way the light twinkled on them a little disturbing. They are cute, aren't they? Grab that. Lily had asked for a musket last Christmas. Instead, she'd been given a muskrat nibbling on gingerbread. Still cute. Is that all in the chest? Yeah, it's all in the chest. I know someone who needs a knife. Whenever approached by a psychopathic lunch lady who's willing to twist your head off your body, you should give her a knife. What do you have there? Is that my knife? Uh-huh. It's just unbelievable that a little brat like you is running around with a knife! Let me tell you, the youth of today are as rotten as next week's canned goulash! Don't you know how much damage a knife like that can do? Uh-uh. Should I show you? Uh-uh. You see? So hand it over before you hurt someone! Unbelievable! A little girl with a knife! So irresponsible! Here, take this chainsaw instead! Now that I have my knife back, I won't need it anymore. Huh. I guess that's what she's been using. Lily wasn't going to do anything silly with the chainsaw. As a responsible girl, she knew that one shouldn't simply start sawing. She would wait until night, when she wouldn't bother anyone. Nighttime sawing. You know what? I bet these cigarettes will make us look cool to a certain someone. Hey, dude. Have a cigarette. They're cool. What do you have there? Cigarettes? No, thanks. You can keep those. Of course I smoke. I'm a real rebel, remember? But only when I'm nervous. And since my nerves are like steel, it's just a hypothetical situation. I'm a hypothetical smoker, which is actually much tougher than a regular smoker. Bah. Chump some firecrackers. Shawnee didn't seem to be interested. Lily had to find some other way to impress him. They're firecrackers! Ah. Uh. Hey, it's what's her face? Suka didn't seem to notice Lily. Lily didn't hold it against her. She was just worried that Suka might regret it someday. Uh -oh. 
Suka didn't seem to notice Lily. Lily didn't hold she so why should she long for Suka to fall off the swing and break all her bones? There was no reason at all to have thoughts such as these. No reason at all. Well, there's that dedication. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. The idea was good, but unfortunately there wasn't any gasoline for the chainsaw. Oh shoot, I forgot about gas for the chainsaw. Um... The liquid smell like Doris's breath, or the cap of the lawnmower's fuel tank, which Lily loved to play with. Either way... Lily had a brilliant idea. High-proof alcohol was an excellent fuel substitute for the gasoline chainsaw. Mother Superior would really be proud of her. Let's hear it for being resourceful. No, Done. No. Lily had finished all of Edna's jobs and had gotten rid of all of the evidence. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Lily, thank God. I have a new and much more serious problem. I can't find my diary anywhere. And all my escape plans are written in it. I even drew a map where I marked my hiding place. So forget about getting rid of the evidence. Um... No, no, just forget it. Hmm... It wasn't important anyway. The diary now has top priority. Please, help me look for it. If Mother Superior gets her hands on it, I'm done for. It has to be somewhere around here. Of course, Lily immediately knew what to do. <clears throat> she immediately knew what to do. Oh, man. Uh, let's just go. Was that really so hard? The diary was lying right there. Or hanging, rather. The telltale drawings were dangling from the claw of a dumb, gawking pigeon. Okay. Lily thought it would be a good idea to first wait and watch the pigeon for a while. She accepted the risk that the bird might fly off at any moment. Get it! The moment Lily tried to grab the diary, the pigeon rose in the air... and carried it to the roof of the convent, where it disappeared in the rafters above Mother Superior's office. Nah. Gawking certainly wasn't going to help. <clears throat> Once again, Lily's path led her back towards the lion's den. Uh, let's get it. I will destroy you, pigeon. Oh, hey, Mother Superior. Finally! There you are. Lumpy starving. Did you get the cat food? Uh-uh. What? And then you dare return here? Off with you! Out, out, out! Oh! How I loathe these ch ch children! Okay, that didn't work. I guess we're gonna need some cat food. But if we remember right... The stove's out. She's got a knife, and I think she needs some food or something. Well, we I think I know how to take care of the stove. After all, we got a big chunk of wood. Look at that. Lily had finished all of Edna's jobs and had gotten rid of all of the evidence. Yeah. So how much you want to bet we're going to use the nightshade berries on the cat? Lily liked the sparrows. She would have never dreamed of shooting at them. On the other hand, she had to impress Shawnee to get the recipe. Oh yeah, the recipe, that's what we need. Well, let's impress him. Lily would have liked to show Shawnee that she was certainly tough enough to shoot at sparrows. But, unfortunately, her musket wasn't loaded. Well, it's not exactly Chekhov's gun. Hooray! The marbles were the perfect ammunition for the musket. Alright. Bye-bye, sparrows. Ha-ha! <laughs> 
Lily might have missed the sparrows, but her effect on Shawnee was apparent. He actually seemed a little impressed. Shawnee seemed very anxious. Lily preferred not to talk to him in this state. She didn't want to risk him pulling out her braids, but she also needed the recipe. What could she do to get a nasty boy like Shawnee to calm down? Hmm. Firecrackers. No, it's cigarettes. Lily had heard that cigarettes were supposed to have a soothing effect. Hooray! What a great job Lily had done. Shawnee seemed to feel much better already. You can tell by the way his pupils were slowly rotating towards the inside. That's always a good sign. And look, there's a the rec recipe. Lily would read the recipe later. After all, she wasn't supposed to make the food herself, but simply take Doris the recipe. Hmm. Also, leftovers. Shawnee had dropped a cigarette. Apparently his mouth was too full. Now, of course we won't smoke those ourselves. Those are bad for your health. Where's that one girl with the eyebrows? Hmm. Well, she's not here. What's up, gnome? Or goblin? Whatever you are, potato thing. Lily had placed the log in the stove. Now she just had to light it. Well, it just so happens that we have a nice hot cigarette right here. Yep. That worked out pretty well. I wonder if it's alright if I take a can of tuna for uh, Doris. Lily got along great with Doris, the lunch lady. That's why she knew... Okay, no, not yet. Eventually, I'll be grabbing one of those cans of food for Doris, because you know she's going to be using that for, if not, uh... Well? I guess that pink lump is still breathing. There's still smoke coming out of it. Hey, what's up, Doris? Actually, would you like a cigarette? The narrator was slowly losing interest in coming up with motives for Lily's action. The truth of the matter was, no one knew what she was doing and why. Oh, uh, you could have just said no. You, uh, you shouldn't be... All I need is the canned food for Mother Superior's meal from the cellar. Oh, okay. Well, there's the food for the cat. Cat food, hunger. Cat food, hunger. You, before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a canning jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. They break everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms, I just... We, we've been through that. Um... Are you here because of the cat food? Then I have bad news for you. As long as I don't have the can from the cellar, Mother Superior will have to wait for the cat food. Okay, now we, we have to go. That stove thing was basically the stove's lit. Doop do doop do 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 getting cans of something from the cellar. This had to be the canned food Doris was talking about. Lily selected pigeon flavor. It'll be useful later on. What with the pigeon and everything. Do 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 Alrighty then. There you go. One can of food. Uh, you found the canned food. Uh-huh. Very good. I guess that means I can start cooking the meal now. I'll put the roast for the cat in the dumbwaiter right away. But I won't be able to fit anything else in there. I can't send Mother Superior's food up until you put the empty plates back in the dumbwaiter. Got it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's just hope so. Oh, all right. Well, I guess this should make Mother Superior happy. Okay, what is it with the jumping thing? Look look at this. Look how the screen just jumps. It's so jumpy. 
And Mother Superior, what's up? Oh, there's the missing child. I was beginning to hope you'd been eaten by a wild animal on the way. But at least you brought the food. I have to finish a few tasks now. Feed Lumpy while I'm gone. And don't even think about leaving the office before the work is done. Uh, no, I would never. There's no reason to go out anymore. Oh, there's a potted plant, and there's the a roast. A huge roast was in the dumbwaiter. That had to be Lumpy's dinner. Well, let's just grab that. The plant's name is Tanya. Or Chuck, depending on who you believe. <laughs> there you go, cat. How disappointing. It seemed Lumpy didn't feel like eating roast at all. How would Lily ever finish her task now? Hmm. We will have to figure it out. First, let's get rid of the evidence. And now we need to take this plate. Actually, I've never seen the description of this plate. The plant had eaten everything. Tomorrow, the weather would be good. What? What does that mean? Cat food with pigeon flavoring. The cafeteria never served anything this delicious. What about the Cat roast? food with pigeon flavoring. Yes, I know. The cafeteria. Onwards. Yes, eat it all. Lumpy obviously enjoyed the pigeon-flavored cat food, and it really looked like he already had an idea where to get second. Yes, and that was the point of the painting, for the cat to climb up on. Oh, that's what Lumpy had smelled. The pigeon that had stolen Edna's diary was sitting on one of the beams. Get it! Get him! Get him! We need to scare that uh, pigeon. It was a tricky plan, but Lily was running out of options. Good enough. My goodness! I see that Lumpy has finally had a meal. Why? This is quite a surprise. Perhaps all hope is not lost for you yet, after all. And now leave me alone. Hope she doesn't need a lot for that loan. Uh, maybe I was too strict with a girl and her fellow students. They're only ch children, after all. Was I too hasty, Lord? Should I stop Dr. Marcel from coming before he tries his new method on the children? Please, give me a sign. What's that? That's beautiful. A dove? Or at least a pigeon of peace? Is this your sign? Should I spare the children? Oh, Lord. Thank you. I... <laughs> what? That ch... 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 Those damn ch... ch... Children! That's it! I finally reached my limit! Lily! When Lily walked into the sleeping quarters, Edna was gone. All she found was a hastily scribbled letter on her bed. Uh-oh. Take care, Lily Fred. I have to go. This situation is getting too hot for me to stay. I'll wait for you at the swing tree for a bit. If you hurry, you might still catch me. Otherwise, you can find my hiding place in the map in my diary. I'm sure you've already found it, right? Stay dirty. Love, Edna. 
The letter made Lily nervous. She had to catch up with Edna at all costs. Uh. Psst, Lily, hurry, this way. The doctor and Mother Superior are already hot on your heels. What? Lily looked all around in surprise. What kind of strange place was this? You're probably asking yourself what kind of strange place this is, right? But there's no time for explanations now. Come on, hurry! Yeah, no, we need to look at something. Surveillance systems, monitors... There's so much to look at here. Let's try the surveillance system first. Lily paid no attention to Garrett's frantic pace. Yeah. First, she wanted to look at everything in peace. Could there be a secret passage here? You might be right. Let me think for a moment. On the other hand, she wasn't interested in these technical knickknacks at all. <laughs> oh, good lord. 